So DeAndre, with Book out right now, how's the connection <coughs> been with Ellie on the court? Um, you know, Ellie's doing pretty good. Um, you know, he's been shooting the ball pretty well. Um, the only thing is about us, um, we want to uh, take over more. Like, you know, he has the green light to, you know, let guys know where where they're supposed to be and, you know, where they're not supposed to be. So, you know, just taking the floor is a big role, but, you know, we trust him and, you know, we're comfortable with him. Oh, but, uh, Dre, place it into perspective, you know, having this what? game. What? Having this game <laughs> against Buddy, place it into perspective, you know, for Bahamian basketball. What does it say to kids that are home, you know, just watching you two guys play at the highest level? Anybody can make it, you know, because me and Buddy and I were there, what? When we were younger, we were there. We are down there uh, saying, you know, we want to be an NBA player as well. We were the kids that was going to camp saying, I want to be just like this NBA player that visited the camp. So, I mean, hard work pays off. And, you know, kids got to know it's not easy. You know, uh, playing at the top level, you know, it's a lot of responsibility and a lot of sacrifices. So, you just got to be prepared for that. Has Buddy given you any advice on saying to your team? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. But uh, you and Marvin just matching up as part of this draft class. Hopefully the, the, the first of many if he plays tonight. I know he's a back injury, but just a chance to, to go head to head with him. What's that mean? Is he playing? Oh no, yeah, it's a game time decision. Yeah, um, you know, just like Mo, you know, we're all great guys. Um, this this draft is pretty close to each other. Um, you know, but when we're on the court, we try to kill each other, literally, like try to be the best player on the court. You know, it's that competitiveness that kicks in sometimes. And we know we have the respect for each other, utmost respect on and off the court. So, I mean, just a big battle, you know, when we're on the floor. How much are you guys just looking around the league, looking at the draft class? How much with what you're doing are you, uh, you know, scouting other games, sitting down and watching NBA TV? Yeah, I watch my games after, you know, after every game. I try to get as much film to see, you know, what we did wrong and what we can, like, you know, adjust. Yeah, so mainly my games and, you know, just – Try to get a win every night. Yeah. What, do you, what do you kind of take it from this whole experience? I know it's been, you know, all the hype, and then you come into the reality of it. But uh, you know, 20 games in here, what uh, what are some of those lessons that take away? Mm, you know, you got to be ready. You know, there's really no break, especially if you're, you know, you're a rookie coming in. Um, you know, you got to show what you got, you know, make your way around this league and have a reputation. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I'm not tired at all. I'm still, still like my first game every game. How has your mindset changed knowing that, you know, Book is out, <coughs> is out? Uh, is it on you to, to be more involved offensively, and is that something that, you know, you go into the game looking for that? Uh, I mean, I know it's, uh, it's more on my, on my plate. I know that, but, you know, um, you know, this is a team game. And um, I'm a player that goes into rhythm. I, I'll probably score a rhythm of plays or, you know, effort plays, stuff like that. So, I mean, I don't just go out here and just – start to hunt shot because that's not my personnel. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, me protecting the rim and rebounding, that's that's as much as I can, like, you know, really give to really control what I control. So, you know, the rest of my teammates got it. Your locker is right next to Trevor's. Um, mm -hmm. just keep, now 20 games in, just what, how, how has he helped you along as, as a veteran? Maybe what has he meant to, to this group so far this year? I mean, the things I'm excited for, he's pretty, like, mellow. Like, he's seen <laughs> it a million times. So, I mean, like, you know, um, when we go to certain arenas and, you know, or surprise or, you know, a little starstruck about certain things, you know, he just has a straight face, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, I've seen him before. So, I mean, just showing us that, <clears throat> you know, we have a lot to work on and, you know, there's a lot more to come in when it, when it comes to this league. There's a lot into this league that we haven't seen so far. So, I mean, just giving us a heads up every day, him and Jamal, that's about it. Has there been anything in particular that you shared with you just in the locker room that you're like, okay, that's, that's a good thing? Uh, no, on the court, though, uh, he'll tell me, like, you know, just, just be a monster, you know, um, just every day. Just go out and be an anchor on the floor and set the tone down low and, you know, shooters like him will get open every game, you know, and uh, that's what I try to do. Yeah, I was in Tucson last week talking to Chase Jeter, mm -hmm. and he was talking about just how practicing against you every day kind of prepared him for this season. What do you remember about just Hey, better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember about going against him? Yeah, Chase, he never gave up. He never gave especially the situation he was in. He didn't play. He sat out that year. Um, you know, he was just always motivated, and he motivated us, um, especially when we didn't want to come in to uh, practice every day, especially when we had two practices a day when we didn't practice good the first time. You know, just 
keeping everybody's spirits up, being a funny guy, great guy as well, smart as well. And, you know, we just competed and never gave up. Going against Doosan and I every day, like switching off. He got me next and he got Doosan every game in scrimmages. So, I mean, he just shows that he has a great motor. Coach Miller said that he may have had some drop, his confidence dropped a little bit leaving Duke. Did you sense that when you first started practicing and his confidence maybe mm -hmm. went inside? Yeah, and then I started, we started competing. I started talking trash and then he came right back. And his confidence came right back. So, yeah, you know, just having that relationship with him on the court and off the court is just amazing because he's a great dude. Have you had a chance to watch him much this year? Yes, I uh, just seen the UConn game. That was a close one. And I'm glad we got that win.